That's it. Rake all the soil really gently, honey. This is Alfie's first there. vegetable plot, but back. it's also his mother's. Push it back. Like families That's across it. Britain, they've dug up part of their garden in well, Suffolk to grow their own. Well, Mum and Dad did it last year, and they were really generous and gave us loads of lettuces and beans and everything else. And, um, you know, they were nice to eat, and it saved us so much money. And we just thought it would be really good to get it going this year ourselves. And my husband and Alfie really love doing it. And, um, well, it'll be interesting to see whether anything actually grows. They're hoping for crops of runner beans, beetroot, parsnips and shallots. It's definitely become fashionable to grow your own fruit and veg, whether it's in a corner of the garden, an allotment or in pots on the patio. And the proof is in the seed sales. Suppliers say they've grown by a third this year alone. One of those suppliers is Thompson & Morgan in Ipswich. They sell 900 varieties of vegetable seed. The staff are working extra shifts to keep up with demand. More people think if they grow their own they can save some money as well because you can if you're growing a packet of seeds where you've got 500 carrot seeds in you'll sow several rows which is a lot cheaper when you've got those carrots than going and buying them from the supermarket. Even in the towns this question of growing food is being tackled. There's nothing new in it. During World War II the government urged the country to dig for victory. Gardens, parks and playgrounds were turned into allotments to provide vital food. With very little knowledge, you can get a bumper crop of vegetables out of a small allotment. Now schools like Hanford Hall Primary in Ipswich are growing veg as part of the curriculum, and in turn, pupils are learning about healthy eating. I like it because you don't have to spend any money growing it, only for buying the seeds. It's beautiful when you see it, when there are loads of plants. It's very healthy and that, and that don't cost you money. As the popularity for growing vegetables has increased, so has the demand for allotments. 200,000 people are currently waiting for one to come free. The Goodgers finally took theirs on two months ago. We're hoping that um, we can yield enough potatoes um, to cover the cost of the uh, rent of the plot, which is £35 a year. So if we can get that out of the first year, that'll be, that'll be good. Seed sales traditionally increase during a recession, but there's little doubt the current craze to grow your own is as much about enjoying a slice of the good life as it is about the credit crunch. Emma Birchley, Sky News, Ipswich.